Hi everyone. Um, I'm here representing my family. We have uh, on my left hand side we have Michelle Perisogola. Michelle, wave. And on uh, uh, next to Michelle we have Ronnie Ogola. Ronnie, please. Wave. And uh, myself, I'm called Elsa Ogola. Karibuni sana. We are going to focus on lesson number seven, helping hands. And uh, children and parents, I want to welcome you through this lesson, is being helpful. We are going to pray before we start, and Michelle Ogola is going to pray for us. Kindly, Michelle, let's pray. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this day. Help us to understand, and Jesus, can we pray? Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Now we are going to go straight to our pledge. Our pledge. Ronnie Ogola, you're going to take us through our pledge. Kindly. Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Our adventurer, Loz, Ronnie Ogola. Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true. Be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Amen. Next, Roni, kindly tell us the give us the song of the adventurer. We are adventurers at Thomas School at Pain. We are adventurers. We are learning every day to be honest, kind and true, to be like Jesus, true and true. We are adventurers. Thank you, Roni. I'm going to welcome Roni Ogola to guide us through the meaning of the uh, basic requirement, being helpful. Roni, Karibu, what's the meaning of being helpful, Roni Ogola? I will always look for ways to help and not to wait to be asked. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will help my family at home. Mm -hmm. I will help my teachers at school. I will help my friends. I will help many people in many places when I can help God. Amen. So Ronnie has guided us through the ways in which he can help other people in other places and everywhere else. Ronnie, can you please give us an example of a Bible verse that spoke about salvation? Yes. Acts chapter 18 verse 26 to 40, it says, Philip helped the Ethiopian eunuch to understand the scripture about, about Jesus later baptized the Ethiopians. The Ethiopian eunuch accepted Jesus. Yes. So Roni has, Roni has just uh, given us an example in the Bible where Philip was able to, uh, to, was able to baptize a, an Ethiopian eunuch from, he made the eunuch understand the Bible verse. So we are going to go to our next award and this award is called a B. So Ronnie is going to guide us through an animal an insect called a bee. Kindly Ronnie, can you please tell the children and the parents what a bee is? What is a honeybee? Yes. Honeybees are fly insects and close relatives of wasp and ants. Yes. They are found in every continent of the earth except the Antarctica. Yes. Bees of all varieties live, live on nectar mm -hmm. and pollen. Without bees, pollination will be difficult and time consuming. Yes. Bees have a long straw like tank called proboscis that allows them to drink the nectar deep within blossoms. Yes. Bees, bees are equipped with 
two wings, two antenna, three segmented body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Oh, yes. Bees use the nectar collected to create your f our favorite sweet treat, sweet treat called honey. Thank you so much, Ronnie, for guiding us through an insect called a honeybee. And today we have learned so much about this insect called a honeybee. And uh, kindly, Ronnie, still may you guide us through the life cycle of a honeybee. There are how many stages? How many stages do the life do the honeybee go through in a life cycle? Egg. Yes. Larva. Yes. Pupa. Mm -hmm. Adult. So we have four stages of that the honeybee goes through when hatching, and uh, Ronnie has given us four of them, which are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. So, still, Ronnie. You're going to give us three different types of bees that we know. You can name the bees that you know. Queen. Yes. Female. Drone. Male. Worker. So we have, uh, we have different kind of bees and we have been told there are three. We have the queen which is a female and a drone which is a, which is a male and worker. So we have seen different parts of a bee and uh, we have seen we have an antennae, we have wings, we have abdomen, we have head, thorax and abdomen and we also have the legs and this is our picture of a honeybee. Bees are very important insects and also in the Bible the bees were presented. Kindly, Ronnie, please tell us. Judges, Judges chapter 14, verse 8. Eight. 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 Mm -hmm. It says, Yes. Bees are also found in the Bible. Yes. Samson, Samson took, took honey, honey. honey from the lion's carcass. Lion's carcass which the bees had made. Which the bees has, had made. Amen. So we can see in the Bible also Samson who was a strong man, a servant of God. He was able to get honey from an animal's carcass, the lion, which he had killed by his own hands. You can give us seven steps to salvation. Number one. Yes. God is love. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3. Yes. Number two. Yes. I am a sinner. Everyone needs salvation because sinners will die. Number three, Romans chapter three, verse 23. Number four. Yes. yes. Number four. Yes. For all have sinned, fall short in the glory of God. Number five. God sent Jesus to die so I won't die forever. J Number five, John chapter three verse twenty-six. Number five, when I when I receive Jesus, all my sins will be forgiven. Number six, salvation is a gift that God gives me. Number seven, God hears me when I pray. Amen. Thank you, Ronnie, for going through with us through the seven steps to salvation. So, Ronnie Ogola, can you give us the verse in the Bible that a character was able to help and was also helped? Abraham. Yes. Genesis? Genesis chapter 18, verse 26 to 40. It says, Abraham and helped the angels by one, giving them, giving them water to wash their feet, two, pro, giving them food to eat, mm -hmm. three, Abraham, 
the angels pr promised Abraham a child. Amen. So we are, we are, we are, we are we've also learned that in the Bible we had uh, Abraham who helped the angels. He welcomed the angels very well. And in return, the angels promised Abraham a child. And that child came after, after a while. Thank you, children and parents, for, the, for listening. And thank you for being attentive. Uh, we are going to finish our representation. This is the end of our presentation. And hope you've, you are all, uh, you are all uh, blessed with the presentation from our, uh, from our child, Ronnie, and our family, which was the main focus today, my family. We are blessed through this presentation. Thank you and be blessed. And before we finish, we are going to, uh, Michelle is still going to uh, close for us with a prayer. Karibuni, kindly Michelle, just let's just thank God for the presentation and uh, we finish the lesson. So we are going to pray, let's pray, let's put our hands together. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord for, for the representation. As you have understand your word, please guide us and give us a prayer. Amen. Amen. So, bye, parents and children. Michelle, thank you.